Hello and welcome everybody, this is in Blender. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you something that have been on my mind for quite some time is how to, you know, make a scroll that is, you know, animated and, you know, that have physics simulation and everything. And it's quite real time, even with my, you know, crappy computer, it's working just fine. And it is also in real time, which is easy, which is good. So I'll just show you how to, how to do it. And we have some modifiers, tags, curves, mesh deformers, and this is quite easy. So let's just get right into it. But first you want to do, you know, new general and don't save because I know how to do it. And you will do in quite, you know, few minutes. So let's just get right into it. First thing is you want to model this, which is add a shift a mesh and a plane like this and scale it in whatever axis you want. I'll just scale it in the Y just about there. And shift a and apply the rotation and scale which i have enabled the pi menu so that's why i'm getting the pi stuff right there so now our scale is one 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 we want to continue modeling this so uh, next thing you want to do is you want to give it enough geometry so it can deform so I'll just you know add one right here control b bevel it and just around there and i'll just add a three or you know Yes, three right there. And then this one, we want to give it enough geometry so it could, you know, roll, but not too much. So we our physics simulation is getting rough. So I'll just go to this view and add the curve. Now, the curve you want it is to, you know, give it that shape, that rolling in shape. So I'll just, you know, add a curve, busier curve. And you know, align it to my view, R, Z, and 90 degrees. So now we have this. So we just want to go like this. But so if you don't like this, you know, you see this stuff, this extra stuff, just disable the normals like this. Now you have a clean geometry to work with with the curves. So like this, something like this. So it's it's hard to get you know the circle shape while you are you know uh, doing this so you just want to have some reference so we'll just add a circle rotate it in the 90 degrees like this and scale it down so we have you know enough something just to estimate how this paper is going to roll and how its size is going to be you know you don't stress that much about it it's just you know for formality purposes you don't have to be exactly curved because nobody's gonna you know roll the piece exactly in a circle so just go right here and just continue to do this rotate move it like this and extrude it it starts to go inside right now so like this and I think this should get up and rotate it like this and you know move it scale it down scale it down mm, something like this and you know boom so this is getting you know hard to see i think yeah this is the outer one so this is the inner one and as i told you don't have to be exact about it I'm not even trying to be exact right now. This is some weird stuff just going on. I'm just extruding inside like this and extrude. But you know, when I'm saying don't try to make it perfect, don't be having you know squares and stuff. Try to have you know some decent circles there, but not too perfect so it doesn't look fake. And I'm just gonna rotate it again like this and. Um, just continue like this. Ooh, I'm trying to rumble over the footage so I could get, you know, enough talk time so I could finish doing this. And uh, I think this is more than enough. I'll just hide, I'll just delete the circle while I hide it. And um, I think, yeah, we have messed up a little right here. Just fix this kind of thing right here. Hmm. Yeah, good enough. So, uh, add a little, you know, room for this so it could, you know, go right in there. And we have something to work with, I guess. So, like this. Uh, okay, good. 
So now we have this we want you know the paper to be animating on this side. So let's just you know add this add a modifier on here, add a modifier and add a curve modifier. And just hit this and boom we have what we want. I think yeah. And if you move the curve to there, you see the paper is perfectly animating. But one thing you will notice, which and uh, this one, it is it, it isn't that much you know noticeable. You have weird sh uh, you know angles show. So now if you apply the scale, you'll be seeing something that looks like this, which is quite wrong for our you know perspective. And um, just go to the here and change this to y or negative y which whichever works so you get something that is decent and working so this is not what we have expected so let's just you know choose between these so we have something well okay so now we have this you see the paper is tilting that way so we could just fix that easy way just go here, select everything, control T and hit 90 degrees. So now you have this. Oh, good. So now if I do this, the paper is scrolling perfectly. Good. Now we exactly what we want. Okay. So, <clears throat> of course, you don't want to do it, you know, that much. So the paper, you know, goes around. So now the next thing you want to do is when the paper is rolling like this, you want these sides to be, you know, going up and stuff, you know, some good stuff. Just, you know, add those. So I'll just add a message cube and scale it just like that. And in the Y axis too. Okay. Scale it just about there when it starts, you know, to go like that. Now, if I go to the wireframe view and move this in the z-axis like this to see it mm, good visibility viewport display uh, wire yeah so now we have this something we could work on so just add a three here like this this is more than enough so if i go right here and you know scroll this all the way we should be having something that is bulging out on the top so First, I want to you know, move this here. So you want to go on the paper and add a mesh deform modifier and add this cube and bind it. I forgot something. <laughs> Don't forget to enable the dynamic check mark right there. So now if we go there like this and you know move these parts up, G and Z, you see everything is working quite good so you want to give it that stylized kind of look uh, you know if you don't want to don't give it but I would love to get that stylized look oh my so uh, you want these three going a little bit inwards boom so now we have this now it's getting there. So first, the next thing you want to get rid of is this, you know, square stuff. Shade it smooth. Just shade this smooth. Right click and shade smooth. And you start to see some decent stuff going on. Like that. If I go there, decent stuff. Like it's all true. So, what next? So, the next thing is to give the paper, the paper, of course, the close simulation. So, let's just do this. Hmm. I don't know why my voice just got off right there. I'll just click here and go to the physics tab and add a, let's say close sim, yeah, the close. So if I go and pl press play right now, the close just falls. Why? Because it have nothing to get pinned off. It's just falling on, you know, nothing and space. So you just go to the catch here and delete this catch right there so we want something you know to grab our uh, you know to grab the clothes or in our sh in our case the paper so let's just go to the shape in in the pin group go here weight paint and let's paint some weight i guess so we'll just you know do this 
but you know you got you want your paper laying flat like this before you start painting white paint now let's just boom roughly and if you also want you can enable go here and wire to see what we are doing more clearly so you want to pin these parts right there in the middle something like this should be fine and you know you should add these parts too why not why not add them too okay but you know you don't want everything to have this kind of perfect pin so the clothes you know starts to look you know fake so you want to you know add some parts like this some parts like this you know i just use the blur here blurring the heck out of this um white paint Ooh, we just lost our white paint i guess white paint please yeah thank god so let's just go right there subtract subtract some parts okay i just forgot this white painter have a bug in this i don't know why but it have some issues i had some issues on my case so just you know just having some random like this um just subtract plus wait this is going to take in too much time so just you know do it just roughly so you get the idea and you can you know do it perfectly if you want on yours so just you know just add some here uh go to average average some parts like this you know just make it as random as possible weight paint so i'll just go to the subtract here and subtract okay what is going on weight paint subtract some parts from here and boom now we have this i don't think this you know you don't have to be perfect about it this will work just fine just go to here and you know the one we have created this one just go after you have weight painted it will automatically you know give it some name you go here group now just watch the magic happening if i hit play right now you'd see we are having quite good animation perfect so now what do we want to add so we want to you know you see all this wireframe stuff going on you see that you know um once it bakes it gives you this weird kind of thing that is you know remembering what you have done so you don't want that of course if you don't want that just go right here select this and um where is the catch you know uh here add a new one just delete the top one now we have a fresh one to start from now if i just hit like this g and y the button thing just disables when you start to play the animation so that's why now you get this it does look good so you want to add you know something just the collusion in the collusion self collusion you want to enable that one which is good i, I guess you know why not why not add it G and Y now you see it it's somewhat you know a little bit better but the lack of geometry is giving us this weird thing right there so now what's next so now we are almost done with this so we are just gonna add a solidify modifier to give the paper some thickness which is right now some too much so the next step is going to be adding a subdivision surface modifier so we get this clean geometries and add it to you know why not give it you know the best one we got so I'll just move it right now and see that we have a good working topology wow this is good so what's next you ask let's just shade it for this you know i'm, I'm going to show you a simple shading technique this is by no means the way how to do it you should be you know having textures and all but i'll just give it you know where i new material why not just give it this color or even add a noise texture right there plug it here shift a add a mix rgb 
in between right here and plug this to the factor. So now if I change this color to here and this color to here, you start seeing something, you know, like this, which isn't, you know, that much interesting right now. So now, now we have this one. You want to do this like this and plug this one into the roughness, add a color ramp in between. So, you know, you could adjust just the reflectivity of this. Now it's some parts are shiny, some parts are like that. So black is shiny. So you want to, you know, decrease the black because these things are rough. They don't, you know, shine like this and, you know, go down. Good. So, you know, this is super smooth right now. So I'll just add a Musgrave texture, add a bump. Plug this into the normals and give it some time to compile. Plug this in the height. Just wait a few you know, seconds like this. Now you get this awkward thing. Increase the scale like that. Um, details, I think. I just play with the Musgrave always. I don't know what I am doing. Dimension, I think this is the one. Yeah. I want to have decrease, so now I just decrease these like this and, you know, decrease this. And so we get something like this. Something like this is good. Good. And I think we are almost done here. Um, you could, you know, do whatever you want. You could UV unwrap this, go to the animation. But I'll just, you know, stop here and show you what we have done. We have done this. What have we promised? Let's just go. And I hope you like it, this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share me anything you do with this or any other of my YouTube channels. We have some good stuff right there. Don't forget to like again. Thank you.